welcome to my channel and i'm back with you once again and this time i'm going to do some videos on microsoft flight simulator 2020 which i downloaded roughly 10 days back uh, it was launched on 18th of august and uh, since then i've been actually trying to make videos but i've been very busy and uh, plus i've been also practicing the abus a320 neo which is the default airplane for abus a320 because in x-plane 11 i've been flying uh, boeing 737 um, this is a, a series of videos that I'm going to do for you, uh, starting from flight planning uh, to ILS approach and landing, and I will cover all the topics and I will try to keep it very simple. Uh, just remember one thing that this video is only for the simulation purpose and not for the real world. If you want to learn the real world flying, then this is not the place for you. Then you have to find some other places or maybe a flying school. Uh, so this is only for the flight simulation purpose and plus I keep it very simple. Uh, with very little knowledge of flight simulators, you can watch these videos and you can learn how to uh, fly the plane. Uh, while flying the plane, uh, the most important part is the flight planning. And in this tutorial today, I'm going to tell you how to make a flight plan. So once you uh, start your Microsoft Flight Simulator, you see the screen. Uh, you go to the world map uh, where you can make the flight plan. Uh, the Earth, yes. So you can really uh, see uh, the airports and the cities and everything uh, that you need to make a flight plan and then you can make the flight plan very easily. Okay, uh, so um, this is one website that I also use for flight planning which is SimBrief. Uh, if you've been watching my Explain 11 videos, you must have seen that I heavily rely on SimBrief. It's a nice uh, free website where you can just go and make your flight plans and uh, it makes your life really easy if you know how to use that and I've been using it a lot for uh, x 11 and today I will also use it with, uh, with Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, but over here in the Microsoft Flight Simulator the flight planning is very easy as compared to x 11 as I told you before. Uh, so once uh, you are in the screen uh, you see the departure airport and you see the arrival airport. Uh, so today I'm going to do a flight from Islamabad which is the capital of Pakistan and I will be flying to Lahore which is OPLA. So I'm flying from Islamabad to Lahore. Okay, So this is the flight plan. Over here in this menu if you go you can see two um, flying methods. One is the VFR and another one is the IFR. Visual flying reference and instrument flying reference. Uh, I'm not using uh, let's say if we select the VFR it simply draws a straight line from one airport to another. You see, you simply take off and then a steep left turn straight into Lahore. So this is how the IFR plan is made. So obviously you cannot uh, carry a proper ILS approach because for ILS you must be somewhere here if you are going to land on runway 36 right. Um, so it's a visual reference so once you are flying and you know your path uh, then you can come and visually uh, keep uh, the runway in sight and then you can just land the plane without ILS but if I select the IFR a proper route is populated with proper departures and arrivals oops let's click this one Okay, so you can see. But still, uh, the approach is not proper. Okay. Again, uh, we cannot catch the ILS because uh, to perform an ILS approach, we have to be somewhere around here. So for this, uh, you have to first of all select the runway. The runway is selected, 28 right, and departures. Now, this is the point where you have to select the SID. Uh, SID is uh, the standard instrument departure. And uh, for SID, uh, you have to actually look at the first waypoint. This is Belco. So anything starting with B, that's what I've learned. It's very simple and it's very easy. Just keep it simple. That anyone that starts with B will actually lead towards this first waypoint that's Belco. So if I look at Belk. 1F28 right so it means if you take off from 28 right you will use this said to reach to this waypoint belk 1F and here you go 
you can see now the proper departure is populated. Uh, so you will take off from this runway in this direction. You will first of all reach this waypoint IS399. That is Islamabad 399, then IS402. To keep it simple. And plus now you are at the route of the flight. That's the first waypoint. That's Belco. Now similarly, if you go and uh, look at the arrival runways, so we have not select the arrivals. Arrivals is direct and approach is also automatic. Uh, so if uh, you do not uh, select the runway and the approach, then you will be performing a visual uh, flight reference and uh, you will be just landing uh, visually and you have to actually find your way out. So for this purpose, I'm going to select the star first. That's the arrival. Now the trick to find the star is very simple. Look at the last waypoint that's Adnim over here in the flight plan. And even if you see, oops, here you go. So this is the, actually the flight plan and Adnim. Adnim is the last waypoint. So anything starts with ADNI, <laughs> this is uh, the star that you have to select. Very simple. Uh, so I'm uh, going to land on 36 right in Lahore and name 36 right. Can we see? Yes. A, D, and I to B, 36 right. Simply like this one. And now you can see now the route is properly populated. You'll uh, come to Adnim, uh, sorry, Mathin, then Adnim, the last waypoint. Then you will fly towards uh, Penom, Ilama, and straight to the runway. Now, somewhere here, you will uh, catch the glide slope and uh, to perform an ILS. Uh, so this was simple. Uh, this is how you can make your flight plan. And I'm using uh, the low altitude airways. Uh, so let's look at it. What's in low altitude airway. If you click this option nav log, you will see all the waypoints, their headings, the distance, the altitude at which you should be at. Uh, the frequency, it's not given. Uh, speed, um, you sh the speed at which you should be flying, 250 and 240 knots. So this is the speed limit. This is the maximum speed. So you can even fly below this speed, um, uh, the, the given speed. Okay. And the estimated time. Okay. So this is, uh, this is it. And over here you can see the visual uh, reference of uh, the flight. You fly from OPIS, IS399 as we've seen before, IS402, Belco, Indec, and this is Ednim. This point, you will start your descent. So we know that once the plane is at Ednim, we will start the descent towards OPLA. It's very easy. If we go to the visual flight reference, VFR, sorry, uh, IFR, and we select the high altitude, now the altitude has changed. So the maximum is 39,000 feet. Uh, you will fly up to 29,000 feet. And uh, these are the speeds, 448, 445. I think Airbus A320 Neo does not go more than uh, 350 or 360, somewhere around. Uh, so I think we will not be using uh, the high altitude airways for this tutorial, we'll keep it easy. Because uh, remember one thing that uh, if you uh, have a short uh, distance flight, which is uh, this one, Istanbul um, Lahore, which is hardly for one hour, it's very difficult to climb up to 39,000 feet and then descend. You have to be very expert in that. Uh, so that's why I have uh, kept it at low altitude airways so that we can easily ascend to climb to 9,000 feet and then we can fly at the cruise altitude. This is the cruise altitude. 9,000 and from here we will start the descent and over here we will land. 9,000 feet, now the best part is you can also manually change this um, altitude. So let's say if I keep it at 20,000, what will happen? Now you can see the whole flight plan has changed um, from the perspective of the speed and um, the altitude otherwise the waypoints are the same so now this is uh, the cruise when you will reach uh, 
20,000 feet, you will uh, fly at the cruise altitude, and then from here you will start your descent. But uh, you can see that no point is given, Le waypoint. So you cannot uh, see at which uh, point you will start your descent. But uh, the best part is if you keep it at 9,000, so it's totally up to you, the way you want to fly the plane. Otherwise, the radio will be telling you as well during the flight when to start the descent. So no need to worry about that because uh, deciding when to descend for the runway is the most important part. Uh, so now you will fly, you will at Ednim, uh, you will be at 9000 feet. At Ednim, you will start the descent and we will land. So I'm trying to keep it very easy for this flight. So uh, this is uh, this is it. Now the flight conditions, uh, I've uh, turned on uh, um, live players, they are on, uh, live traffic is on, weather is live. Yes, so uh, the, we, have, we are going to fly in the actual weather with the live traffic and uh, the time, let's check out the time. Time is also live, it's uh, 2.31 right now in Pakistan and exactly that's the time. Uh, so this is it uh, for the flight planning part. Now let's uh, move to the <laughs> to the cockpit, and you can also watch uh, the second and the third and the fourth videos, uh, the the following videos, in order to see how to take off the plane and how to fly it on uh, autopilot, how to perform the descent and the ILS approach and landing. Thank you very much for staying with me. Uh, see you again.